Um, first of all, I would like to thank all of you for, I know a lot of you have traveled far and wide to be here to celebrate this special day with us. So, so thank you. Sisterhood is perhaps, I think, one of the most complicated relationships to describe. There are so many, oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> There's so many moments growing up where, you know, you, we, we always played together, but we also fought a lot. But there's always um, <laughs> an underlying bond that kind of surpasses fights over the remote control. I, of course, won because I was the bigger and stronger one. <laughs> fights over borrowed clothes and, you know, me running out of the house because I was being chased with a dead snake. <laughs> That's something I will never ever forget. <laughs> but we grew out of that phase and eventually learned to see each other in a different light. I've seen her go through the toughest times in her life and I couldn't be more proud <laughs> of the, the strong, beautiful Imat woman <laughs> that she is. I call her Imat and that's short for immature and I say that in the fondest, fondest of ways. <laughs> she has this she has this childlike wonder and, goofy <laughs> and goofiness around her that just endears her to everyone that she meets. So being the older sister, I was always determined to look after her and you know, also push her around a little bit. But if someone messed with her, then they also had to go through me. And you know this. So, so when I met Oliver for the first time, you know, I was... I was very protective, so I was like, who is he? Where is he from? Parking tickets? Criminal records? And I, honest to God, I did look him up, and he seemed kind of normal at that time. <laughs> Little did I know, huh? So when I met him for the first time, it was here in Cebu, I thought he was just, um, you know, an ordinary boyfriend. But I knew, I knew the exact moment, I knew that you were hashtag D1 for her. It was um, two years ago. Um, they came to visit us in, <coughs> they came to spend the holidays with us in Dubai. Don't look at me. <laughs> and um, it was the day after Christmas, and we were on the way to the Louvre in Abu Dhabi. And, you know, we were in the car, my husband was driving, I was here, and we were karaoke -ing and singing to Spice Girls and Barbie Girl and Britney Spears. And it was a particularly good performance. So <laughs> I wanted to give my sister a high five. So they were in the back seat as I was about to turn around and say, high five. All he said, intercept. <laughs> and it was like a light bulb moment. And I thought, he's just as imat as she is. <laughs> and so I knew right then and there that they were meant for each other. She, he makes her laugh. He enjoys the same thing she does. I just hope you don't chase me around with a dead snake. And I'm glad that she's found a wonderful, thoughtful, and kind person to spend the rest of her life with. Ollie has, um, Oliver has supported her through everything, pushed her beyond what she thought she was capable. And I'm so, so happy that you have found your biggest cheerleader. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna end this now. <laughs> so to my beautiful sister, I'm so, so happy for you. Oliver, welcome to the family. And we have a small gift for you. And by we, I mean my wonderful husband. And by virtue of our marriage, I'm also taking credit for it. <laughs> so here's a small video that we made. 